Hey guys and welcome back to another Imagine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over a physical compass in which you can hold and look at and it's always going to point towards north. So previously I've done a video of having a compass on screen, today I'm going to be doing it where you're actually holding it with a model as well. Now you don't have to have watched the previous one to do this, it will be completely separate. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see I'm walking around it and if I were to press Q we're going to have a little compass pop up which I'm holding like so we can walk around and it's always going to point to north which for me is just this area here this is north and as you can see it's always going to point towards it no matter where i am looking and i can also move this north point to be wherever i want in the map but for me in this example it's just here so again this compass is always going to point towards it and i can pick it up and put it down like so so this is what we're going over and making today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've done it so the first thing we want to do is we want to create the animation for actually holding our compass so you can use a different animation if you want, you can download one and use that. However, I'm just going to create my own very, very basic one, which is also going to be an upper body montage, which we're going to go over today as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Mannequin, Animations, and I have some animations here already. Let me just delete this like so. So these are just my basic animations of my character. What I'm going to do is right click on my third person idol and just duplicate this so I have a copy of it exactly. And I'm just going to name this Compass hold. I do still have the other one just as a reference just so I can show you how to make this and I already have one which I've made previously. So we're going to open up this animation like so and as you can see it's just going to be the exact same as the normal idle one. What I'm going to do is move this all the way back to the beginning so the very start of the animation. Go to the skeleton tree and what I'm going to do is just move the arm to be in a position in which I think is going to look good for holding a compass. So I want to hold it in the right arm so I'm going to need to use clavicle R for the right shoulder and in actual fact, what I'll probably do is I won't rotate the shoulder, I'll rotate the upper arm, and rotate it to move the arm up like so. What I'm also going to do is press this button here to make sure that the rotation is going to be perfectly local to the current rotation of the arm. So I can now rotate this to move the arm up. I'll do the same with the lower arm like so, and I'll also rotate the hand to be facing properly like this as well. And if I had to slow the camera speed all the way down, we can go into pretty much the player's view and see what it's going to look like. So see that that is what it's going to look like for the player holding the compass. Maybe you can move the hand up a little bit more like so. So again you can obviously customize this part here as much as you want really. Just basically move the arm into the position you want for them to be able to actually hold the compass. And once you have done that, what you want to do is with everything that you've done, so we can just do this on root, we're going to press key and apply like so. So to save this, close it and open it back up you can see that this position is now like that again so this new animation has the arm holding up like so as if it's holding a compass. Now again I've just done that very very quickly so if I open up my other one I can show you what this one looks like. So again this looks a little bit better and this is the one which I'm going to be using because I spent more time doing this one the other one I just did very quickly but obviously customize it to get it working and looking perfect for you. And again you can also use your own animations. So once you've created the animation we're going to close it right click on it, so for me that was compass hold idle, right click, go to create and we're going to create an anim montage, opening it up perfectly like so. And we're using anim montages so we can nice and smoothly blend it in and out to make it look nice so the arm is actually coming up instead of just suddenly snapping into place. And what we want to do in here is we're going to go to anim slot manager, I'm going to add a slot, naming this upper body. Because again, I only want the arm to move really, the legs want, I want to stay the same, so I want to make this an upper body montage. So add upper body slot there, and then on the left we have default group dot default slot. We're going to change that to be slot name and upper body. Now it's going to go into this white pose like so, but don't worry, it is going to work. We've just changed the animation montage to be upper body instead of full body. So save and close that as well. Now we need to actually enable upper body montages for our character, so we're going to open up our animation blueprint to do that. And we're also going to go straight over to the anim graph like so. So now I have my state machine here which I've just named movement cache, and we're going to move this out a little bit like so. Out of the movement cache or out of your state machine, which again you can name whatever you want, we're going to get a new save cached pose like so, which I'm also just going to name movement cache like so. So our state machine goes into a new saved cache pose and under this we're going to right click and get use cached pose movement cache or cache however you want to pronounce it and out of this we're going to go into a layered blend per bone with the output going to the result of the output pose like so and the base pose is going to be the use cached pose. Now blend pose is zero wants to be our upper body montages so we're going to duplicate the use cached pose drag out of this and get a slot default slot. 
connecting that into the blend pose. However, you can see that's a default slot, we want it to be upper body. So we're going to select it, change it from default to upper body like so. So now we know it's going to be upper body, but we also need to define this in the code. So we're going to select our layered blend per bone, open up the layer setup, open up zero, add an array element, open up zero again, and change the bone name to be the bone which you want this to actually start working from. So I want it to be spine underscore 01, all in lowercase, like so. And if we select the skeleton up here, we can open it up and see what the bone is actually called. So again, for me, it's spine underscore 01 here, all lowercase, and that is this bone here. So just select whichever bone you want it to be. It could be spine 1, spine 2, spine 3, or even just the arm if you want, or the shoulder. But again, just get it for what you want, but make sure you spell it perfectly correctly, like I have here. Then we're going to change the blend depth to 1, and also tick mesh space rotation blend. And that should now be our upper body montage is working perfectly. I do have another video where I go over this a lot more in depth so, re so you can really understand it more. Today I'm just going over it fairly quickly just so we can get it working and done. So again, if you want more explanation, go watch that video which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. So we're gonna compile, save, and this is all we need to do now. We have set up the animations, so we've created our new animation and we've also enabled upper body montages to be used on our character. So we can close all of this like so. Now we want to actually create our compass. So I'm going to go back to content, right click, create a blueprint class, making this an actor, and I'm just going to name this one compass BP. And I'll name this compass BP1 because again I have my other one as a reference. And I'm going to open this up straight away. In here I'm just going to add component being a static mesh. And in here I just want to add my compass meshes. So I'm actually going to minimize this and find those, which for me is in compass, compass body, and compass pointer. With those selected, if I open up the compass again, I can add static mesh, multiple assets, and it's going to add them both in here, like so. But as you can see, these are also very, very big. So what I want to do is select them both and change the size down to 0.01 .01 on the X, Y, and Z. And I'm also going to disable the collision, so set the collision presets to no collision, like so. And now we have our compass set up perfectly inside of our blueprint. So we compile, save that. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to this compass which you can download, however I have made some slight modifications to it. What I did was I deleted the dome on top and also straightened up the rotation of this compass pointer as well because it was off at an angle where we need to make sure it's perfectly straight. But again you can also obviously use your own ones if you want. And that is actually all we need to do in the compass BP itself as well, so we're going to close this. And the actual code for doing the compass is going to be in our character blueprint. So we're going to open up our character from content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. And we're just going to find some empty space and then hold down P, left click to get event begin play, or, just, or if you've already used it, just go find it. And what we want to do is we want to find the location for north. So if you haven't already, you're going to want to make a north marker blueprint, which I've done. Very simply, all it is, is a blueprint actor with an arrow inside of it, just so I know where it is and I'm just going to place this where I want north to be, like so. You don't even have to have the arrow, I've just done that so I know where it is. But again, all you need is a blueprint actor or just anything really in the level to define where the north point is. So back in our character blueprint, we're going to come out of the begin play and get actor of class, with the actor class being our north marker. So again, this is going to get the north position in the map. Out of the return value, we're going to get actor location to actually get the physical location in the level, right click the return value, promote it to a variable, naming this north location. Now again, you can obviously just give this an actual location instead of having to get something. You can just create the variable and set a location here, but I find this just a little bit easier to keep track of where it is, and it's a lot easier to then just move about and change in the level if we wanted. Once we've done that, we're going to go over to the viewport like so, and we're going to add in a child actor. You can see I already have this here, just so I have a reference for the location and rotation because it's going to be in a bit of a tricky position to find. Because as you can see, I've placed it perfectly in the hand, like so. So I am going to still go over how to do this. So what you want to do is have the mesh selected, add a component, and we're going to add a child actor, like so. What I'm going to do is actually also hide this one again so you can't see it. With a child actor selected, we're going to change the child actor class to be our compass, which for me is compass BP1. And then I'm going to set the parent socket to be hand underscore R because again for me that is the right hand and now you can see it is going to be in the hand socket all we do now is just move it into position in which we want so I can just rotate it 
and move it like so. And what you can also do is select the mesh and you can change it to use animation asset using the compass hold idle animation which we have. So again, you can see what position it should really be in to get it looking nice for the actual animation. So you can see I also need to rotate it so the compass pointer is actually facing north like so. Now with the animation moving like this, it can be a bit tricky, but I think that's gonna look good for me. That's in a good position and the perfect rotation as well. So I'm also gonna delete this other child actor and just rename this to child actor now. Or in fact, I might rename this to compass. Compile, save that. I'm also gonna set it to be invisible or hidden in game I might do actually so we can still see it in here. So take hidden in game so by default, the compass isn't going to be visible or equipped in game. We'll compile, save, and go back to the event graph. On event begin play here, what we're gonna do is get our compass or our child actor, drag out of this and get the child actor. So get child actor like so. And out of this, we're going to cast to our compass. So cast to compass BP one, for me it is like so, because again, the object of our caster compass is gonna be the actual blueprint that it derived from, which is our child actor. And as compass BP, we're gonna right click, promote a variable, naming this compass BP or compass reference, whatever you want. Compile and save that. Now we'll actually get onto the fun part of actually moving the compass to face north. So underneath this, we're gonna right click and get event tick. Now, if you want, you can do this on a custom event which fires off quickly and only fires off when you're holding the compass if you want. However, this code isn't really that demanding and it's fine to do on event tick because again, it isn't doing that much. It shouldn't lag out your PC at all. And it's only this one thing as well. So again, it should be fine. Off of event tick, what we're gonna do is get our compass BP reference, which we just made. Drag out of this and get our compass pointer or whatever the static mesh is for you, just the one we want to rotate. And out of this, we're going to set the relative rotation, making sure it is relative, not world. So set relative rotation like so. Now, how do we actually need to figure out what the rotation should be to point north? Well, firstly, we're gonna right click and split the structure pin because we only want to change the Z value. So to find that Z value, that's quite easy. We're gonna right click down here and get the actor location, which is getting the current location of the player. And we're also going to get our north location. And we want to find basically the rotation between these two. So we're gonna drag out of get actor location and we're going to find the look at rotation with the start being the player location and the target being the north location. So basically we're finding the rotation between the player currently and where north is. Now you might think that's fine. We can right click, split structure pin and connect the Z in there. And this is okay. However, that is for the player's rotation, not where the player is looking. So we need to disconnect that right click and get the control rotation and this is the way the player is looking right click split that structure pin and we're just going to come out the z get a float minus a float minusing the z from the final look at rotation and that is what goes into the set rotation so again we're finding the rotation between the player and north and then we're also just going to minus that from the direction the player is looking in so we can actually find out the correct rotation for that However, also one tiny thing is we don't want to connect that straight in. We want to take this into a float, multiplied by a float, just multiplying it by minus one, because otherwise it is inverted and it will go the wrong direction. If when you have it like this, it goes the wrong direction, get rid of the multiply or just times it by one. Again, that is because for me it was inverted, so this fixes that. So we can compile and save. And this is now gonna perfectly rotate the pointer to always be facing north. So the last thing we need to do it's just actually enable the compass so we can bring it up on screen, playing the animation and all that good stuff. So underneath this, we're gonna right click. I'm gonna use the Q keyboard event, but you can also use whatever you want. For me, that's gonna be Q keyboard. And out of pressed, I'm going to get a flip flop because again, I want this to be toggle, not hold. If you want it to be hold, do everything out of A on pressed and everything out of B on released. Again, I want it to be toggle, so I'm gonna do it like this. So out of A, we're going to play anim montage, like so, the anim montage, being the one we set up earlier called compass hold idle montage. And out of B, we're going to stop the montage. So stop and the montage with it being the exact same one we just put onto play. Which also reminds me we need to do one other thing. So let's press browse next to the montage like so, and then open it up, go to asset details, and we also just need to untick enable auto blend out, save that. And this just means when we start playing it, it is gonna constantly loop and just keep playing it until we tell it to stop which is how I want this to work. Close that and we'll get back to it. 
After this, we're going to drag the compass in, drag out of this, and just set hidden in game. Out of play and a montage, that is going to be set to false, so it's not hidden, so we can see it. And then off of stop and a montage, we're going to do it again, this time ticking it so it is hidden, so we can't see it. So we'll compile, save, and that is all the code done for us. So again, what this is doing is it's starting the animation, showing the compass, and stopping the animation and hiding the compass. So if we hit play, we can test this out to see if it works. So again, you see North is over there. If I press Q, actually one thing I did do was I forgot to reset this animation starting position. So I do blueprint like so. Hit play, you can see that works better now. So North is over there. If I were to hit Q, it brings it up with the animation and the compass is pointing in that direction. And if I were to move, it's always going to be pointing in that direction towards North where that is. And again, if we walk past it, you can see it's going to point towards it perfectly. If I press Q again, the animation is going to go down with the compass disappearing as well. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up, so we've created an animation which can pull up and put down the compass like so, and the compass is also always going to point towards north, wherever that is, and we can also move north if we wanted. So if I were to move it down here instead, you'll see that the compass will update towards that, so it's going to point over there now instead. And again, also this is upper body, so it doesn't look too great just because I've done it quickly, but it is doing upper body perfectly, like so. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.